All right, well, I'm continuing to work on this uh, Sterling engine uh, project that uh, I want to make one of these that'll work on cold. And uh, this is a ring bomb, magnetic ring bomb. And I went ahead and got this cold up here using that ice cube right there. And you can see it's just running versus the table temperature and then this cold piece of aluminum. But I ordered one of these uh, cylinders. Uh, you can get them on eBay or Amazon, which is what I'm going to need to do that. And I put it on this uh, real rinky-dink uh, PLA Sterling, and it really made a difference. You see how this is flexing here? When I do this design for the ring bomb, that's got to be rigid. You can see how much better this thing is running with that cylinder. That thing right there made a real big difference. And it, um, it was this before, it was this diaphragm cylinder thing here. And when I replaced it with that, it just made a huge, huge difference. And like I say, that's what I'm going to end up uh, trying to make the ring bomb with if I can get around to the time and to do it and stuff like that. Because it takes a lot of time to do these projects. But another thing that I really um, like is using this candle warmer for this. Uh, you know, it's way down there at about 135 degrees, so you're not going to you're not going to hurt anything with it. You're not going to hurt the machine. You, you might get slightly burned off it, but it's not bad. And then, uh, like I say, uh, the, orig the original concept uh, was to try to make something like this that ran on ice. And um, that's what this thing here does. It runs on the cold. You hear it speed up when I put the ice on it. And that's what I would like to be able to do with something like this, is get something like this that ran on the ice. It's kind of a hard project. But that cylinder right there made a big difference. That's glass with a glass uh, piston. And the first one that I ordered, I dropped it on the ground and broke it. So you got to be really, really careful. Then I got the second one, and I dropped it on the ground and broke the other part of it. So between the two of them, I got one cylinder that works. But uh, this uh, really made a big difference. I've just got it stuck on there with uh, double-sided sticky tape and some tape. The, the displacer uh, is this uh, foam sponge with that part facing up. It acts like a regenerator. The uh, spacer in here is PLA printed. Uh, it's a uh, Christmas cookie tin, and then these other parts are PLA, and like I say, it it ended up uh, making a much, much better Sterling engine using that uh, store-bought um, power piston. That's the latest. Thanks for watching.